You know guys, in my experience, the only thing scarier than January horror is January comedy. I just really hope this isn't a repeat of Family Camp, because... <laughs> oh my god. So House Party, I guess, is a remake of a movie from the 90s of the same name? I honestly didn't know that the 90s movie was even a thing until I started doing more research for this review. And the title is just pretty much what this movie entails. You got two friends who were a couple of aspiring party promoters, which both of them are just kind of losers here, let's be honest. But they decide, hey, let's throw the party to end all parties and make some money in the process. It just so happens that the mansion that they decide to throw this party at belongs to LeBron James. With that comes all the shenanigans that you would probably expect in this kind of scenario. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not above movies that one would consider dumb fun. If I get something out of it and I'm thoroughly entertained, I'll admit it. On the other hand, when you're a movie like this, I still gotta call you out on your bullshit. There were a lot of moments when I was watching this and I was kinda like, oh my god, that is so funny. Fucking stupid. And it's not that this movie is overly horrible or anything. It just has a lot to do with the way things are executed. And House Party just tends to deviate into things that we've already seen before. Plus, it just seems to fall for that age-old trap of telling a joke and then down the line just not letting the joke go. There's a character in here that I guess is supposed to be a thug. But when he tries to intimidate somebody in this movie, all he does is get in their face and yell out these crazy sexual innuendos. <laughs> I'm gonna cut your dick off, drag that bitch in chocolate and then force feed it to you. It's funny the first two times they do it, but the more that they do it, it just becomes less and less funny. And my other favorite one. Dude, we're in LeBron's house. I mean, check out this toilet, man. LeBron actually shits in this thing. I mean, check out LeBron's ring, man. This thing is probably worth more than my girlfriend's booty cheeks. Don't damage the floor, guys. LeBron is going to be very fucking angry when he gets home. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. I get it. You guys ain't used to being in LeBron's house. We get the joke. Now, despite that, that doesn't mean that there weren't times where I was laughing. But like I said, the repetitive nature of the jokes in this movie kind of just brings your experience down. And the two leads, they might as well just be repeats of Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah from Superbad. One of them is just a clueless man-child that wants to do nothing but party and be stupid. The other, this movie does make an attempt to give him some character and make you sympathize with him. He's a failing dad that still lives with his parents and he just wants to make enough money to take care of his daughter. But he's such a pushover in this movie that any attempt to make you like him it just kind of feels pointless. DC Youngfly and Jacob Lattimore do at least have good chemistry. And when they're actually funny, they do play off of each other really well. And no, I'm not making that shit up. The guy's name is literally DC Youngfly. Admittedly, the party aspect of this movie is pretty sick. Because let's face it, when you go to watch a comedy like this, you at least want the party to be badass. And for the most part, it is. I mean, it's nothing like Project X's party, but you know what? It's, it's still a cool party. This movie even had a dance number that had me smiling pretty big. And you know what? Since I'm single again, I can pretty much say this without any guilt. There were some fine ass ladies in this movie, guys. Holy hell. <laughs> but slowly but surely, I began to realize that these feelings I was having were kind of misplaced. And it was right around the time when I began to realize, damn, there's... There's a lot of celebrities in this movie. I'm not kidding. There are cameos in this movie out the wazoo. Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, however you say this girl's name, and of course, LeBron James. I'm pretty convinced that this movie is nothing more than a real party that a bunch of Hollywood celebs put together, and someone just happened to have a camera at the party, and they were all like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's make a movie. You can't seriously stand here and try to convince me that somebody out there wanted a remake of the House Party from the 90s. I don't think so. Honestly, guys, in the end, House Party was, like I said, nothing more than an excuse for celebrities to get together and throw a party. <laughs> Brings nothing original to the table and just kind of repeats things we've already seen before. I did laugh a few times and the girls were fine as hell, but this movie is just forgettable. I don't think it's bad, I just think it's forgettable. And kind of like that koala, House Party probably would have been a better time if I was high. Roll it up, get it me, roll it up. Smoke weed every day. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you've noticed, yeah, I'm still holding the mic. That's because I made a mistake and I did not buy the arm. Instead, I bought something else. I bought the mic mount for it and... <laughs> Been regretting it ever since. The so next paycheck, I will be buying a new arm for this. I did find an arm that I wanted. 
I just have to order it and it should be here within a few days. But honestly, I'm not going to lie. I've kind of grown accustomed to this. <laughs> I am going to be recording another review right after this. So hopefully I can get this review and the next review up within the next few days for you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'm the Unbiased Movie Nerd, saying peace, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out, everybody.